How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership. I am your all-in-one extraction game source, new source for Dead Drop, Hawked, Ascendant Infinity, as well as Arc Raiders. And today we're going to be doing a How to Win series in Hawked. This is going to be captured live on my live stream on Twitch. If you're interested, go ahead and go to twitch.tv forward slash Magneti. But first off, we're going to be getting guns because we are really close to guns and not very close to a glyph. I'm just going to be going through here live, explaining to you what I do and why I do it and how I do it. And ideally, we're going to be extracting two artifacts this match. That one was kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. All right, so the next step is to just always go towards the next closest glyph, as well as finding weapons on the way. Okay, this one is not too bad. You just got to figure out any of the glyphs on the bottom here need to match any of the dials on top here. And it seems to be pretty random. See, there you go. So the bottom one's the middle here in this case. The middle one's the right, and the top one must be the left. And this is pretty much random, completely random. There's a player over there, but I don't want to engage that yet because I do not have anything but a pistol. So we're going to try and get something else, like a Trident Max is better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to grab this Relic, hopefully without taking damage from that guy. Make sure you're always picking up gear, too. And I think, actually, we're going to go for the... Okay, that was clearly a bot. We are gonna go for the caravan here at this point though, only because it has already spawned. This is pretty early game for it to be spawning like this. So if you can get it to spawn early game like this and go after it, that is perfect. That way you can extract with the first artifact and then by the time you're done with the caravan, hopefully you don't encounter any other players, but you probably will. Yep, there's somebody attacking it right now. That way the treasury will likely be open by the time you're done with the caravan. So hopefully we can handle this player here relatively easily. Gonna try and get us Sneak attack on him. I think he noticed me already, maybe. Nice. With a well-placed grenade. And luckily he had no shield. Yeah, make sure you stay away from that AoE attack. It could very easily mess you up. But you also want to try and stay as far behind him as you can. Grab all the loot. Make sure you get the legendary gear. Grab the artifacts. As well as any trinkets. Make sure you get the seasonals, go for the closest extraction point, which I believe is going to be that one there. And then we are going to come back for this. I say we head this way. Pretty easy clean sweep. I don't believe that player was a bot though. And he probably has a respawn. Since we have a respawn, that is a quick tip as well. If you look at the glyphs, you can see that they give you different bonuses. You just gotta pay attention when you go to pick them up. Also worth to note, if you survived your last Hawked match and extracted, take a look at the shops, see what you can get. Maybe gamble you can get pretty lucky sometimes there as well. So right now I'm just trying to keep an eye out for potential choke points. Anywhere somebody might be able to snipe me. Check out the shop while we're chilling. This will be a pretty good grab. Seems pretty easy, pretty straightforward. This could also be a pretty empty lobby though, so it's hard to tell. You gotta kind of gauge that as well. Try to watch the kill feed as it happens too. Just like that, we extracted half the loot. Now we can go back and get the rest and come back and do it again, because we will probably be full after we go for a second round. I'm just gonna check this chest here and hope for an epic. Ooh, we did get a Zed, so that is good. Rare Zeds are like one of my favorite guns. Make sure you stay extra vigilant when you hear that somebody's nearby. Because just like that, can get ambushed by a pro bot. and completely shred him with half a mag of a Z92. Now, I'm personally rocking the Soul Siphon Collector Coil Collar of Scorn, as well as the Boombox and Gelatinum. I'm not running any boosters in case you wanted to see what my build was like. So here's this gotcha. checkpoint we had. We're gonna come grab these artifacts. Make sure you're always stocked up on heal cola. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Seems like somebody may have stopped by and grabbed some. All right, so since somebody came here and looted some of the trinkets, we're just gonna head towards the next glyph and hopefully get out of here with two artifacts in one match. Shouldn't be too big of a deal here. Make sure you're always keeping an eye out for traversal points. Help you get around the map faster, of course. As well as these haste buff mushrooms, super useful. Okay, this glyph has obviously already been taken because there's no enemies here. It's easy pickings for us. See, increased PvE damage, a snake glyph. Memorizing those glyph bonuses could also be very useful. Knowing that you have a respawn in the bank right now is also very useful. Somebody's close. Just, Just another bot. Are we gonna fight any players so that we can make this a YouTube video, my guy? 
All right, so we can tell this is a real player. Wow, nice. That did a lot of damage. Poor guy. Might have just not had the weapons he wanted. Still going after the glyph. Make sure you don't bother going after glyphs that don't have a tag, because they'll just be repeat glyphs. That would be a big waste of time. You would not want to do that. Learning the map is also going to help you out a lot. So like, for example, I know this spot, and I know that I'm going to come down here and have to fight these guys, especially that guy there. That guy's really annoying. And a really good strategy to stay kind of on the, on the quieter side of fighting these guys is just using these to your advantage, trying to get them as close to that as possible. Doesn't always work out the best. Like that was really good right there. You can do it one more time and he'll probably die. Just like that. That's a pretty good way to stay pretty close, or uh, pretty quiet rather. Okay, this is gonna be a boss fight glyph, unfortunately. So this one, we'll just fuck him up. No big deal. Oh, okay, dodge wasn't working there. Pretty easy. Not too bad. You should be all right there. Sure you guys got that if you run into those. Pretty easy uh, to handle. And uh, just so happens that the uh, artifact is right here, so that's perfect. So we got skull, heart, snake, water, and potion. This may have been a bot lobby, but if you're watching this video right now, then it most certainly was not a bot lobby. Now, I highly recommend when you get in here, you open all these chests first before you do anything. Grab anything that comes out of the chests, which is just going to be the seasonal items as well as hawks. Then you grab the legendary trinket, then you grab the artifact. That way, if you do it like that, you don't have to worry about anybody coming after you immediately knowing where you're at when you grab the artifact. Obviously, you're going to want to come out this side. You close. grab the artifact from here. I always come out this way. This is, I do this every time, so if you're playing a match with me and you know that that's where the artifact was, you will know my exact route and will probably be able to pinch me very easily. I always take this extract point because you get the infinite slide! And then you run into players! That guy was not equipped to fight me. He had a pistol, and I, I'm, I feel so bad. And that's why it is vitally important to equip yourself with the right weapons. Search as many chests as you can, because he had two purples, I had two blues, and I still knocked him up. Somebody's not close. in the perverted kind of way, though. This is clearly a bot. Okay, maybe it wasn't a bot. Oh my gosh, if that wasn't a bot, I'm so sorry. And uh, since the lobby seems pretty empty, we are most certainly going to grab all the trinkets that are nearby. See if this guy had any. He had none. So we got five minutes, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a boom box. We're going to go grab this guy's artifact. And we're going to go back to the treasure room, grab the other artifacts that I... Or the other single trinket, not artifact, that I left in there. And we're going to bring that back to the extraction point so that we can extract as many trinkets, items, artifacts, all the jazz as much as possible. Also in hopes that we encounter other players. But that probably won't happen now that the match is basically over. There you go. Now you got two extra trinkets. Preferably don't get hit by the saw blade or any other traps. Take the infinite slide all the way down again for the second time to extract your second set of trinkets if you had to go back, which would be awesome if you did. And then we're here with plenty of time to spare. Two and a half minutes and another probably a bot. Somebody's close. Come on. Where are we at? Okay. Anybody? Anybody? No takers. I know somebody's nearby. Come on. Where are they at? All right, well, all unextracted loot will be lost if, uh, I guess you'll get that warning if you stay within a minute. But, uh, just like that, you've extracted all of your trinkets, all of your artifacts, both artifacts in the match, if you are able to do that, which is awesome. And then, you just get to leave. You're good to go. And if you're a boss-ass bitch like me, or if you just got put into a bot lobby, you'll have all this stuff extracted, boatloads of money, and you'll be golden. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and or subscribe button. I prefer you click subscribe. That is what we're shooting for today in this video. Stick around because I will be bringing more hawked tips and tricks as well as news and updates. So I hope you enjoyed. Peace.